What up YouTube, it's your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an outline of whoever you want to draw. For instance, I'm going to be doing Chance the Rapper because he's one of my favorite rappers. But the first things first thing you start doing is first make your custom brush and then it's just pretty much as simple as this. Just start outlining his features of his face. Um, you can use a pen if you want to, pen tool, but I'm going to be using the brush tool. I do have a drawing tablet which helps out a lot. So I recommend uh, if you want to use the drawing tablet method, it's a bit more faster in my opinion so you can just draw it on there um, versus uh, the pen tool where you have to point click and then adjust each point. Um, and then just start plugging away. It's literally no more simpler than that. Um, in the Adobe Illustrator app, if you want to change your brush smoothness, just double click the brush and a menu will pop up that will help you adjust the sensitivity of smoothness on your brush. And it really does help if you got a shaky hand. I personally do have a shaky hand. Um, I don't know why, but I, I can put my hand solidly straight and it'll shake by itself with no agitation or whatsoever. So I had to use it in order to get smooth lines. And um, some people don't need it but uh, just keep on plugging away and one of the other important tools you can use to draw your character is the pencil tool um, it helps fill in dark areas for people who usually have black hair um, the pencil tool will come in handy real quickly just to do it real nicely and like I said again this is Adobe Illustrator so um, the way how things are drawn out are a hell of a lot different than it would be in Photoshop so you're not expected to make a painting in Illustrator it's all vector based and everything's done in layers and um, all of the lines are more solid and more crisp versus the pixel based software but um, just keep on plugging away on the picture and as you see what I'm doing here things are coming together very simply and very easily I'm using that pencil tool to get things done real quickly and easy when it comes to just filling out these lines and stuff and um, always remember to just have some fun and uh, once you get really good at this, at drawing people, you can do a lot of other things like adding colors and shades and stuff. If you guys want me to do colors and shades tutorial on this exact character I'm drawing right now, slap that like button and I'll do it. Um, just let me know. And uh, I keep on saying this, but just have fun with the image. Uh, take your time. Don't rush through it. Um, and again, the importance of a drawing tablet really does help out a lot. You do not need the most expensive tablet. You can get yourself a cheap $50 vacuum tablet on your OfferUp app or Lego or Facebook Marketplace. You can find them for dirt and get started that way instead of going out and buying the most expensive tablet out there. You know, the, the $500, $700 Wacom Cintiq or Huion or whatever you want to call tablet um, because you might not like it. So just uh, practice. Have fun. Um, yeah, like I said, um, just have fun with it, draw it out, and uh, really just uh, plug away at it. Um, it does not take that much practice to get to the level of levels that I'm at right here when it comes to doing outlines. Outlining is extremely easy. It's not hard at all. It's just tracing. What becomes real difficult is when you're adding the color. Um, colorizing your character in Adobe Illustrator is very difficult. And if you color your character uh, with gradients and stuff like that, it can be extremely difficult very quickly. So please keep a mind on that. Um, and uh, just keep on plugging away and keep practicing. And eventually, once you get good at doing this, eventually if you have like a second monitor set up, you can put your reference photo on the other monitor, have it blown up, and then you can try freehanding the person you want to draw. It's almost like figure drawing, um, where you're drawing a person at a distance in a way, except it's you know right there in front of you on your tablet. And just have a lot of fun with your image. Uh, don't be afraid to do certain things here and there that could be different. Maybe add a different type of stroke or make something a bit more jagged than flush and you know that usually adds your own flair to it um, but for the sake of this video I'm gonna be doing just a basic outline of Chance the Rapper um, and yeah just really just have fun with it um, there's not much else I can really say about this video but really try to add your own flair to it um, add your own highlights and things like that this is just a black and white image uh, just for the sake of the video and um, just really just uh, have fun with it you never know what you might be capable of creating um, 
it's a good idea um, if you have issues for like drawers block like I do to like uh, there's apps now uh, I used to do it with a hat uh, put a bunch of things in a hat um, and I would uh, write down on a piece of paper and I'd throw them in and I'll pick three things out of the thing and then put them in a, um, a, a line and whatever comes about would draw it like like computer monster water something like that um, something like that you know just some crazy things but they have apps for that now I'm um, like um, word jambler apps you know uh, you can do that with instead of doing the, the timely method that I took and uh, yeah just really have fun with it um, and enjoy your image as much um, as you can it's uh, very important that you do something like that because if you are just doing it for the views and stuff like that or you're doing it for the publicity then you're not really improving your stuff you're just trying to improve your channel or your page or whatever and just have fun um, practice 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 and um, like I said when it comes to drawing outline character the biggest important thing are the two tools you're gonna use for me uh, brush tool really figure out how you're gonna set up your brush tool because you can do a lot with the brush tool you can make your own custom brush calligraphy brushes and things like that for example right here I'm gonna make a brush for the facial hair I'm gonna just like duplicate this and I'm gonna make it into an art brush and it just works real easily uh, they're not too spacious apart and uh, it just looks really good when you put it on the image as you see right there is complete and I'm gonna start working on the facial hair and it just looks really nice you can change the opacity of the image just to give it its own special flair and uh, I cannot stress this enough just really just have fun with it and um, just have fun with it but that's pretty much the video uh, there's not much else to say about it pretty much done drawing chance to wrap it right here I'm gonna add a few more details here and there and um, yeah just really have fun with what you're doing but this is your boy Thomas here at Common Sense Graphics. Rate, comment, subscribe. Slap that like button if you guys want some more videos. You already know who it be. Your boy out.